Well, hello and a very warm welcome to Valkensvaard, the 10th leg of the Longines Global Champions Tour. We're joined by Kent Farrington. Kent, what does the weekend hold for you? What horses do you have with you? I brought uh, Voyeur and Yuseko. Uh, and both of them have been, you know, longer term partnerships for me. And uh, I think I have two really, really good horses here. Well, we'll talk about the horses a little bit more uh, later on. But first, let's go right back to where it started for you. Tell us about the, the young Kent Farrington. Uh, I started downtown Chicago out of the carriage horse stable. Um, we used to do once a week lessons there. My mom would drive me and that sort of progressed into riding ponies. I, I actually wanted to be a steeplechase jockey right. and then um, yeah eventually found my way to show jumping. And when you found your way to show jumping did you know it was going to be a career for you? Uh, at a pretty young age I decided that that was really what I what I wanted to do and I sort of set you know set my sights on, on making that on making that my career and um, I never really looked back. Now, once you've decided that's going to be your career, what's the stages to take it from a, a kind of good hobby into being a professional athlete? Um, you know, I, I had a lot of help from industry professionals in the United States. I, I did a, a clinic with, with George Morris when I was young, and that was sort of a big turning point in my, in my career. He uh, invited me to come to West Palm Beach or Wellington, Florida, and he actually gave me three horses that he owned himself to ride because he thought it was very important that I get to a high-level show. And from there, I, I started catch riding horses for you know, almost all the professionals um, in, in the U.S. And that that really that really made the difference in my career. And the industry itself has changed so much over the last few years, especially with the introduction of the Longines Global Champions Tour. What has the GCT done for the sport? I, I think it's brought the sport to a to a new level um, in terms of corporate sponsorship, prize money, and really raising the the publicity of the sport more along the lines of a you know Formula One type level where it, where it's televised and we're going to sort of premier locations or around the world to compete against the best in the world. Now tell us about the legs that you featured on this year. Uh, I did Madrid and Monte Carlo. I'm doing this show, I did Shanti, and I'll also do London, and then I'm hoping to finish up in Doha for the final. And any favorites along the way, any favorite venues? Um, I mean, in terms of for the for the horses, I think this is one of my one of my favorite venues. It's it's really horse country here. You know, this is where Jan Top sort of started everything uh, with his own business, and it's a real community of of horsemen in this area. Uh, in terms of a location, I think Monte Carlo is incredible. Uh, you know, on the water like that, and in, in an amazing city. And it's an ever-growing tour. Um, what's the kind of future do you think for Global Champions? You know, I'm I'm not sure. I think I think Jan, you know, brought in a, a new partner with with Frank McCord, who has a lot of background in uh, sports industry, and I think it'll be really exciting to see what those two do together. So that's the future for GCT. What's the future for Kent Farrington? Um, I, I hope more of the same, just just better. Um, you know, keep trying to find top horses and and keep trying to improve the results and uh, you know maintain a high level of success. Well, let's quickly talk about the horses. Uh, Blue Angel's been very successful for you. Not a horse you've got here. Um, my wife watches you when we were at Spruce Meadows this summer. Um, and other locations, and Blue Angel's always got a blue bit on, or so she tells me. Was that a conscious decision, Blue Angel with a blue bit? Uh, no, I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really that into to, to color stuff like that, but, um, you know, it's what the, it's what the horse likes, so I, I try to use whatever, whatever I think is going to make the horse go best and, and try to let them, let them be the best version of, of what they are. That horse has a really soft mouth and, and uh, you know, those are really soft bits, so that, that's why I ride it in that. Great, and tell us again about the horses you've got here for the Grand Prix this weekend. Uh, I brought Voyeur, uh, who I showed at Ed Aachen. Um, I'll do him in the Grand Prix, and I have Yuseko, who, who's back. I gave him a long break there during the Florida season, and he's just kind of gearing back into the sport, and I'm going to use him, him here before I take him to Dublin. Great. Well, thanks very much for joining us. Always one to look out for. The best of luck this weekend, Kent Farrington at the Longines Global Champions Tour.